Hello, hello YouTubers and welcome to another review. Today I am going to review in a book which is Desirable by Frank Boyd, who also wrote Millions, Frames and also Cosmic. It's alright, now you may notice that the front cover looks looks in a similar style to the dying photo well if you go onto this page here it is the same illustrator from that book so it does have pictures in it, in it. but it's not a picture would really it just has a picture on every Three, four pages. Everything. All right. <coughs> this is about out a boy called George. It's him just there. George really is a loser. No boy likes him at school. Only one boy talks to him. Him ever. Even his granddad doesn't particularly want to be with him at all and one day he's thinking that girls might start liking him later but really you can tell it's not going to happen <coughs> and his birthday the party's coming up and his mum mom says to ask anyone if they would like to cook and he asks a lot of people and no one at all wants to come. I mean literally. No one at all. Or uh, one person says sounds good. Good but he doesn't come. I'm sorry, he says sorry, he really, he just, the reason that he points that it's being said just sounds fake and I think Frank has deliberately done that. <coughs> so anyway, we, uh, it's just, and uh, he also goes to a club and there's only two members. Yes, only two. So it's not really a club at all, is it? Alright, let's get on to his birthday. Day party, which is also his birthday. Now, really you can tell that the granddad saying, oh, why do I have to be here? How much longer do I have to be here? And I'm thinking, oh, why do we have to do this? I'm thinking, hmm, I'm a bit puzzled of why dad's got this tonic. I mean, I can show you, and I'll go on to that a bit later. So on his birthday, he gets a shave of his granddad. Alright. And it actually says says best before the end of August nineteen eighty two. My mum says, Didn't you get me that tonic for my birthday several years ago? And Dad saying, Well, I must be making in more bottles of here. No, it's from from 1982 or 1981 or whatever. So that shows how bothered Granddad uh, can be. He can't be bothered at all to even buy a present. He just finds something at random and he thinks, give him that. Alright. 
and um, he didn't actually buy it. He says he doesn't buy it, he bought the bottle. The bottle. Okay. Now I'm going to start talking about, about Frank again because he's doing it again. Something which relates to other books that he's written. Specifically, um, Millions. In Million. There's no way really that like Scamey and all Anthony until or they get money and here no one likes George until he gets this actually of which somehow makes people attractive to him then how air uh, And there's several girls he likes. Likes and he just, you know, wants to have some friends, but no one wants to be his friend. I mean, if you look in. Ah, that is a good picture. Oh my god, he's a new. He looks like a nerd, nerd in that pic. Yeah, he's just not trying to set any example at all. And look at that. I mean, come on. Stop being cruel. Also, it's a really good start. To what I hope is going to be a really good story. Yeah, and Frank, you've started this off good. Don't blow it like you did with Framed, because as many people know, Framed got off to a good start, and then it was just repeating itself really after that so see I'll see you next time for part two guys and goodbye wait a minute am um, I forgotten something? ah yes how did I feel? well <coughs> can you actually blame George for being like this? No one likes him, no one his granddad Yeah, about to to feel left out and if this um, chapter had a gone into a bit more detail it should have really I would rather I didn't get the aftershave until a few more chapters like Anthony and Damien didn't get the money until about over halfway through the story. And in the movie they got practically straight away. Wait, wait. I would like to know more about his feelings because if you were him, would you sort of lash out in violent ways? Ways, would you sort of sit, say, say, look, I'm getting really sick of this. You're just so mean to me. You leave me out the whole time. Why do you keep doing this? So it made me feel a bit sad. Sometimes it even reminded me of myself, the first chapter. So, uh, thank you, YouTubers, and definitely this time it is goodbye. Sorry that I mumbled on in the first level.